At one point or another, almost every small business is going to run up against cash flow issues, and cash flow can make or break your business's survival. Yet, despite its clear importance, most small business owners don't actively work to control and enhance their cash flow situations. If you own a small business, you don't need to sit by and passively observe your business's cash flow situation. You should step up and take an active role in directing it. The first thing that you'll want to do is make sure you have an understanding of your cash flow situation. Sit down and figure out all of the expected cash inflows and cash outflows and create a cash flow forecast for yourself. With this, you'll have an idea of what your cash flow needs are so that you can develop a strategy to meet those needs. Next, you'll want to start making some simple changes to improve your cash flow. Firstly, if you don't already do so, start invoicing customers immediately. Waiting weeks or even months before asking for payment is a drain on cash. When you don't bill immediately, you're basically giving the client an interest-free loan because you're allowing them to hold on to the money that they owe you for a longer period of time. If you have people out in the field, try taking advantage of some of the technologies available to bill immediately directly from a smartphone or a tablet. If not, you can still bill at the time of service or delivery of the product. Worst case scenario, you're a consultant and you need to bill up billable hours before invoicing, but you should still be invoicing clients at least twice per month. Another way to increase cash flows if you work on big projects is to break up payments. Try asking for half the money down and bill for the rest once you're done, or get paid a third to start, a third halfway to completion, and a third when you're finished. You should also make sure that your customers are motivated to actually pay you when they do get billed. Try giving a discount for prompt payment and charging a penalty for late payment. When people are late, don't let them slide. Remind them that the bill is past due and ask for the money. If clients are perpetual late payers, start telling them you need to be paid up front. While you're trying to rein in your receivables, you should also be working on the flip side to stretch your accounts payable. Make sure that you know what the payment terms you have are and only pay when you have to. Don't be delinquent and don't miss out on any discounts or incentives for early payment but if a bill is due 60 days from now, wait 59 days to pay it. Don't cut the check today. If you're able to be responsible, you can also pay invoices with a credit card to buy yourself even more time, an additional month in most cases. So all of a sudden that bill that you're holding in your hand may not actually result in a cash outflow until four months from now if you have 90 days to pay and then pay with a credit card, for example. Just make sure that you're on top of all of the due dates so you do pay within the payment terms and don't accrue interest charges on the credit cards. And finally, once you have your cash flow to a manageable level and don't actually need outside capital to meet your obligations, consider getting a line of credit. It's always easier to get access to money when you don't need it, so establishing a line of credit when you're in good shape can prove to be invaluable down the road when things come up that require outside sources of cash to supplement your cash flow temporarily. Then use the line of credit responsibly so you maintain the financial health of your company. I hope you found these tips helpful. Remember to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter for more tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your small business grow, as well as the latest entrepreneurship news. Mm -hmm.